Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth, Joe. Welcome back to Nancy Drew, The Secret of the Scarlet Hand. We're back here in um, the District of Columbia, which has taxation without representation. And in fact, D.C. should be a state. And in fact, we are here. <laughs> I'm all ready. We just, start, we just started and we're going there. Say hi to your future selves on YouTube. Um, we don't remember what we're doing. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to go to the museum. I meant to go to my hotel. But that's okay. Um, because I just needed to stop by real quick. If you remember in the last episode, Henrik fell off the ceiling. And, um... Oh, yeah. And now he's in the hospital and we have to help him regain his memories. That's where we're at, and that's what's happening right now. So I'm ready to um, assist them as the youngest <laughs> curator. The youngest museum curator who has ever lived. Okay, we're going to check our checklist. Someone told me to do that. Was this a, Is this a checklist? Found Sunny to get Prudence Rutherford. Be sure to check in with Bess and George. Oh, maybe I should do that. Henrik's gone for a bit. They really don't have fast scrolling on this, huh? Oh, I remember the maze. Goodness gracious, it's all coming back to me. Just like that Celine Dion song. Help Henrik get his memory back. See if the logo graphs on the threat can help him. So he admits to writing the threat. Big question mark, we said. Jail. But doesn't know who Pakal is. Try to find a photo of Pakal. Aha. Now that, in fact, sounds like something I would do. Right after. I sleep. For 12 hours. <laughs> uh, oh, that's more than 12 hours. Yeah, sometimes you just need to take a nap and you need to deal with things in the morning. Sometimes you just need to take a nap and you need to deal with things with the morning. And I just, I just thought that I don't need to call them Bess and George after all. So if someone had a picture of Pakal, I would think it would be what's her name? The head of the museum. Or maybe they're, oh, Taylor gave me a Pakal photo. Yeah, Taylor. Oh no, I have the same memory is Henrik. And visiting hours were what? Like noon to two or something weird? Two to four? Does anyone remember what visiting hours were? Well, I need to go talk to, to Taylor real quick anyway. Need something? Oh, no. I've got work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. Okay, I'm gonna report her to HR. <laughs> Not Simper Ubi Sabubi. Um, dear chat, what does Simper Ubi Sabubi mean? <laughs> what? What did she just say to me? <laughs> Not Simlish. <laughs> ah! Not she's speaking Simlish to me. It's Latin, isn't it? Don't forget your Sabubi. That does not mean always. That means always wear underwear in Latin. So it's even, it's actually not okay to, to say to someone at work. To someone, it's not okay for your boss to say that to you. <laughs> oh my God, that's not okay for your boss to say that to you. Wait, that's not okay. I don't think this museum has HR. It's barely staying afloat. Oh yeah, I was gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, maybe like eleven. I I went to uh, I went to work for five minutes. I need a three-hour nap. Real, seriously me. Hashtag me.
I went to work for five minutes. I need a three hour nap and I need everyone to leave me alone. And I also, it, the nap needs to be paid as well. Okay. You better pay me for the nap. I would not be visiting someone at a hospital this far out of the city, by the way. <laughs> if you are this far out of the city on the red line, I'm not going to visit you in the hospital. Well, look who it is. Oh, is this a picture, Pakal? Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. What should I post here? Is that a this picture? This will help you to remember. That That's face. Pakal. He's as familiar as my own feet. Oh, he knows his feet really well. <laughs> Not as this Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Can you remember? Do you know his name? Do you remember the last time? Where did you last see this man who died 3,000 years Can ago? You remember the last time you saw him? Pakal! Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it! I must have. But why? Oh, Pakal! What could I have meant by this? Um, so... Here's the question. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> federal prison, mama. You're going to federal prison. <laughs> now, here's the thing, though. Here's the question that I have that's on my mind. He didn't do it. That's not a question. I think he's definitely involved, but clearly the art dealer, the one with the, that, um, the one who has the hair framed in his office by Penny Benini. What's her name? Think, Henrik. Where's the carving now? I can't remember. The shit cookies. <laughs> the one who has the art by Henny Panini. Hannah, Hannah, Hanny, Montani. Oh, Poppy Dada. <laughs> All I need is some idea. Okay, All there we go. All I need is some idea of where to look Pig. next. I'll take any scrap of memory you've got, Henrik. It's still in the museum. Why would you break into the display case only to leave it in the museum? Why would you break into the display case and steal the carving only to leave it in the museum? To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal. Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. I was the oh. only one who could stand in the way. See, here's the move. He knew someone else was going to steal it, so he stole it to hide it. And who hid it was Ugly Tie Thin Mustache. Whose plot is this? Is it someone who's involved with a museum? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. I just think she should shake him. Does anyone else think she should shake him? Raise your hand in the chat. <laughs> just a gentle, like the shoulders. That's what they do on, on movies. Just some gentle shaking. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. In the meantime, yeah. I'll sit with my friend Pakal and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Do you know anything about the theft of Prudence Rutherford's necklace? I can't remember. Screaming! Henry, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I can't remember. <laughs> Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I can't remember. <laughs> you rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. She just, she waits till he's asleep and she takes the pillow. Over the pillow, over the head. <laughs> That's not what you do. Oh, did I take the key? Okay, good idea. If maybe if I ask him again. <laughs> He's 
<laughs> he is very loud. Some some characters are louder than others in this game, and I don't really have any control over it. I hate that she doesn't put the keys down. Need something? Oh. I've got work to do. Go to it. Maybe you shouldn't have a... I mean, she herself is 19. Maybe you shouldn't have a 19-year-old run a museum. That's why they're going bankrupt. On the National Mall? I'm using my left hand, by the way. I'm using my left hand, by the way, because my right arm is hurting today. So I am doing all of this with my left hand. Now, I don't know about y'all. Oh. So I can't even fuck with that one. There were more, don't worry. Ah, huh. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Maybe he'll remember a password eventually. No. It's literally the address of the museum is the National Mall, but it's literally up by Fort Totten on the metro here. Okay? The address of the museum, which I saw when because I was looking up the Beach Hill Museum on the Nancy Drew Wikipedia because I wanted to know where it was. It is they list it as being on the National Mall. It's literally where the Smithsonian Castle is. They knocked down the Smithsonian Castle to build the Beach Hill Museum. Do I ever get packages? If I were a key... If I were a hole, what key? Oh, I bet it goes to a desk. That looks like a desk drawer key. You see a pair of fuzzy handcuffs and some nipple clamps. Oh, never mind. It's a flash drive. <laughs> oh, that's not a flash drive. What the fuck is that? Number stations. 2050 her, her tr transmits a series of five digits in Spanish with each transmission starting. Attention, attention. Decoding the numbers. Write down the last three digits in the series and add a zero to get a four digit number. The, so the last three digits of the series add each of the original five digits So that's probably the code to the safe, maybe? Not a journal. Um, oh, I need to be keeping up with these today. Oh, Karen, thank you again for the bits. I appreciate that. I hope you get some downtime. Rage, thank you so much. She clocks in and immediately leaves. It really is the mood. If the station number gives 56123, then the smuggler station is that. Put a zero at the end of the last three digits. One, two, three, zero. Then add all the digits. Password is the Nahuati word for snake. Enter it in more. Not Morris code! Who's Morris? And they'll confirm by voice, then send a code word. Oh, this is gay. This is, this is like being gay in the 1920s. Code words. Leche, send the item immediately. The coast is clear. Hmm, looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Oh, I really said that word wrong. <laughs> oh, I really said that word wrong. Okay. Hiked with Big Bunny all day. Temperatures in the 100... Oh, what the fuck? Water scarce, but Highland region is beautiful and pristine, except for Bunny's incessant commentary. Even spotted a Quetzal flying among the branches. Symbolizes freedom and wealth. These are horoscope people. 
Igor, for some relief from Big Bunny, accepted Old Man's invitation to eat. Oh, an old shaman. Vicente gave us very strong tea to which BB reacted negatively. He kept shouting, Bunny rabbits, flaming bunny rabbits. Oh, oh my god, these people did ayahuasca in the desert. Not these people went on an ayahuasca trip in the desert. They probably took a tour bus down there too. Um, return to, da, 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 but there was nothing there. Vicente thought that was funny. Me too. Old man told us legend has it the highlands are haunted. I understood most. At the Hadapa calls rain. Wrote the account of the Maya that somehow defamed. Would have enjoyed the story more without the outburst of bad. Oh my god, is it Bad Bunny? Is that a, um, a, a artist? I'm putting on this, by the way, but in a cute way. I'm putting on this hoodie <laughs> backwards because I'm very dainty. Wins this smart small time smuggling wreck to pay off his college tuition. Oh my God. Cancel fucking college tuition already. People shouldn't have to be smuggling our ancient artifacts to pay for college. Oh, was there a bottom part to all these pages? My god. Oh my god, not the fart jokes! Nearly suffoc- What does he eat? Nearly suffocated. Oh my god, the hearts! They be fucking in that tent. They be fucking in that tent. I nearly expired from Verint. He had no unusual effect on me. Oh, wow, there was a bottom part to all of these pages. <laughs> well, what do you know? Translation notes. Blessing, curse, something. Good God. Holy shit. I'm not here to read someone's college notes. Okay. Um, I gotta find someone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Does this thing work? Oh. <gasps> it's the devil. Oh my god. They said something! Say it again? Seven? Seven? Oh, and I'm supposed to send stuff too. Oh. Seven oh zero one seven E seven. I don't think that this is for me. I think it would sound clearer if it were for me. Oh, this is Morris Code. Oh, how do you spell bad words in Morris? I hate this sound, so just turn it off. Thank you. How do you spell a bad word in Morris? Buy milk? God. These milk guzzling boomers. <laughs> Let's go put this CD in my hotel. Let me tell you, people be loving their 2% milk. Loving their 2%. Froggy girl, thank you for the bits. I hope you have a good work day. Thank you. Yes, queen, thank you for the bits. Happy clues, Steve. Oh, Monica, I hope you get your Red Bull. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Rach, I know. We need to tell. There needs to be an HR in this building. Thank you so much again for the bits. I need a disc. 
Oh my god, what's the difference between that thing and this other thing? Oh. Did he tell me what? Oh, I need to know what that symbol is, don't I? Oh. No, I hate this. Okay, hold on. It looks like a sad turd to me. <gasps> Bad words in Morse code in my chat? Did I leave the disc in there? I sure did. It's probably safer in there. Probably gonna get robbed on the metro. Oh my god, Annette, thank you for the three... Years. I do appreciate it so much. <laughs> Keep those goods, goods, goods going in the chat. Thank you, thank you. What is this? Oh, I need to find someone to read who reads that language. I've never asked for permission to come in here before. Need something? I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Any ideas? Afraid I can't help you there. You suck. What's your, what even do you do here? I've got work to do. Bye. <laughs> what, is, what even does she do here? I hate her. I ha She's not even paying me. This is child labor. Oh, that desk is over here. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, girl. Use the right it's key. Locked. She definitely doesn't want to help me. Not the boss that says figure it out. Aspen from across the room. Thank you for the three months. It's good to see you. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. So it was in the other thing. It was in his college notes. Not these ones. These ones. Oh my god. Did I take the page? Oh, I took... I have the page. <laughs> oh, I have the page. Oh, well, I'll go see Alejandro, maybe. And then I'll go see Pencil Mustache. Sometimes you have the page. Oh, this is Taylor. Wait, who's what's my boss's name? Lisa? Nintendo is addictive. Thank you for the 16 months. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, any Joanna. News? Do you have any idea what the Nahuatl word for snake is? I don't know. I'd better get going. See you around. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go ask Taylor. Oh, or maybe I could call Prudence. I should maybe call people as well. Uh, not this, Rach. Thank you so much for the bits again. I appreciate that. Jonah, call. Thank you for the bits. Finally, quit and work to solve a murder. If only Henrik. Buenos dias. Uh, I won't complete that sentence. And Monica, welcome back. Thank you for the bits. I'm glad you got your Red Bull. I need to know thank the you, thank word you. for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Oh, I'm talking to some people on the ham. Oh, I need it to send a message by ham radio. It's a long story. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory, too. Something tells me this translation is going to come with strings attached. I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. <gasps> I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. 
If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. Yeah, I will help you send my boss to prison. First you tell me you were unconcerned about the theft oh. of the Pakal carving, and now you have an urgent need to see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? I didn't mean if to I accuse him. I the just picked the longest answer. <laughs> this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Of course Nancy hadn't thought uh, about it like I that. I hadn't thought about it like that. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. Oh, have you heard? I just heard. Have you heard? <laughs> Henrik Vanderhune fell off the pyramid at the museum. He's in the hospital with a mysterious head injury. That is terrible news. I hope it's not too serious. Yeah, none of none of us really care. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. Yeah, we're not too torn up about it. Honestly, Alejandro. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, we're not... Nobody's really torn up about it. Not the word for snake is Joanna. Um, it's me, Abby. Thank you for the bits. Oh, well, I'm glad you got to pop in. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Brittany May. Nancy really is flopping. Need something? Oh. I've got work to do. I was gonna Carpe diem. I was going to steal some stuff. <laughs> oh. I was gonna steal some stuff from your office. <laughs> so I guess I have to wait till she dies or goes to bed. Or goes to bed and dies. Um, Taylor Allen, thank you so much for the bit. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, it's good to see you. Wait, whose desk was this? Oh, good job, me. Is this my desk? Oh, this is my desk? They would put... This is a, the worst office area. Um, what was I trying to look for? Oh, the documents. I feel like we should wait until she's asleep and then break into her office, but I don't know if we have a key to her office. Do you know what I mean? Do we have a key to Joanna's? Dear chat, do, can we get into Joanna's office when she's and late when she's not at work? I'm gonna go to bed. That's just me though. Not <laughs> lock yourself. In the office. Oh, okay. Click the knob, not the door. Oh, so I don't even need to knock. Okay, I'm just gonna go to bed. Thank you. A lot of this game is sleeping. I'm not complaining. What if they probably closed by eight? I know for a fact Joanna is the type of boss who leaves at 445 and expects you to stay until seven. So I know she won't be there. Oh, she locks it if she's not there? Well, we'll see. Rage, thank you again for the bids. <laughs> no, we're glad it's Henrik. I mean, yeah. Well, it could have been some other people, too. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't seen it at night. And Coziest Ghost, thank you for the bids, too. I appreciate it's that. Uh-oh. Thank you, thank you. It's locked. Can I break in through the side? Oh, this is scary. This is like that movie about the museum coming to life. I would bust down the door and use a crowbar. Oh, 
Okay, I've got a dear chat. Dear chat, what's the next step? How do I get the key to bust into Joanna's office? How do I shake it out of her? That part, Rach. That part. Thank you for the bits again. I appreciate that. Call the Mercuric and ask why they haven't delivered to the museum. Oh, didn't I call them and they said we haven't been paying our bills? I need to talk to Alejandro about something. For, I need to do something else first. So is that what I have to do is have to call the distributor? I thought I was a curator. Oh, I called the bubble wrap people. That is so me. All right, I'll just go to bed. <laughs> I'm sure they're asleep too. I'll just have to call them in the morning. Oh, Serbs Lulu, thank you for the three months. I do appreciate that. Good to see you. Not yet Bachel to let us in. Bachel comes out of the wall covered in turds. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, thank you. Dear chat is now disabled. Sorry, I just really like bubble wrap. I always need it to. What's this? The distributor's number must be at the office, right? Well, surely their office is closed by 9 p.m. You know, being a, being a teen detective is really like 95% sleeping, 4% eavesdropping, and 1% actually like doing anything. <laughs> Makes one phone call and sleeps for 12 hours. Okay, so she's a millennial. Works five minutes and then takes an 18-hour nap. Okay. She's a millennial. It checks out. I'm the same. I get it. Okay, so... Preservation first. A acid? Oh, acid-free. Framing tools. It's this last one I need to call right... Oh, never mind. There's more. Oh, it's this one. Never mind. Well, and on top of that, I need to spend two weeks to get ready to make the phone call. So, um, you have no it's a lot. Trial. And if I didn't have the Lexapro, I, I would never even make the call in the first place. I need the Lexapro. I need two weeks to prepare for the call. I need to write out a script. And then I need an 18-hour nap afterwards. No, it's been two years. Six. I did not understand that function. You have no voicemail. Oh, I forgot. I don't need you to dial no out in DC. I did not understand that function. Oh, you, you can eat no shit. Whatever this you is. You have no voicemail. Press 9 for an outside line. I don't think this is an outside line. Oh, I guess it is. It's outside the museum. Keep it real. Mac speaking. Not Mac. Hi, I'm the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill Museum. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions for me about our ordering history. Well, hello there, Beach Hill. Hey, you're not Sunny June. Whatever happened to that guy? I suppose he caught a ride on a flying saucer, eh? <laughs> what I'm a riot. I'm or, sorry, what I'm accent sorry. is this? Anyway, you don't need to reorder, do you? Unless you ate last week's shipment for breakfast, that is. 
Do you know who placed that order? Well, the initials on the order are J.R. J.R. Oh, my pappy had a dog named J.R. I don't know what it stood for. So there hasn't been a holdup at the distributor or anything like that? Holdup? Oh, I don't know where you heard Not that. Bachel Museum. We've got enough mercuric sulfide in house to sink a ship. It hasn't that I don't think anyone's made Beach Hill Bachel Museum joke. Oh, JR is Joanna. Her last name is Riggs. Was the package shipped to the museum? Uh oh. Oops, I guess we didn't ship it at all. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. Can you remember anything about the person who picked up the package? Hmm. Uh, I sure can't. Guess I must have been at lunch or something. You're sure it was last week? Oh, that's what it says here. Well, thanks for your help. Sure thing. I hope there wasn't any problem with the stuff, was there? We only used a top-grade mercuric sulfide. Now, what's mercuric sulfide? Judging by the impression it left, I'd have to agree that the quality was fine. It's well, you sound a little green in the like chemicals rust. department, if you don't mind my saying so. I hope you know that mercuric sulfide is highly toxic. Makes you crazy. <laughs> this guy knows from experience. Well, I have heard that mercury poisoning can cause hallucinations and other symptoms of psychosis. Oh, uh, uh, looks like I've got another call coming in here. You give us a call in about four months or so when you start to run out, okie doke? And don't forget to keep it real. What just happened? This is why I don't like making phone calls. Alright, I need to go talk to Joanna. Clearly she stole it. Well, and probably Alejandro. Need something? Oh, I've never mind. Not you. you. Bye. Not you. I hate you. <laughs> I spend a lot of time on the metro. He <laughs> didn't actually call him. We're just hallucinating. What are, what are we saying me for? What Why are we saying my name? The phone talking to us. Thank you, Kikat Moss, for the bits. And Cozy as Ghost. Keep it real. Thank you for the bits, too. I hope y'all are keeping it real on this Hello. Tuesday. Do you know what Cinnabar is? The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know it. They use it at Beach Hill, too, do they not? I don't know. They hired me, and I'm too young to be working there. They do use it at the museum, but Joanna told me they haven't been able to get any in Oh, one. what's on my shirt? What is your point? <laughs> yeah, I thought I did something dumb. It's um a Junji Ito illustration. It's a it's a like a demon with a dead frog coming out of their mouth. Junji Ito makes horror manga. I think Joanna may have been less than truthful with me. Have you called the police? I tr I literally have tried to call 911. I don't want to jump to conclusions. Of course. Sister Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? I should get back to the museum. Goodbye. Thank you. I got it at GameStop. I was ordering something for someone's birthday at GameStop online, and they had a sale on these shirts, so I got this one and a Pokemon one. It's definitely... What was the game where the police did answer the phone? She f she flew the coop. Where the hell did she go? <laughs> Kick out, boss. Thank you for the bits again. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. She's looking at a human turd. And there are like worms. Nope. 
I went too far. Nope. I know. Oh, she eats oranges. Oh, I don't think that's oranges. I think that's pottery. <laughs> nope. I went too far. And I understand that. Um, covered bowl. Diego de uh, Londa ornamental carving. Okay. Good to keep your receipt. Go cats! The DC Wildcats! <laughs> Not the DC Wildcats! What the fuck is that? Alright, I just stole some, some kind of key. She really- for a detective, she really doesn't poke around a lot. She sees like one thing and takes it usually. Come on, I want to zoom in on these pictures. I want to make fun of her family. <laughs> Come on, I want to make fun of her family. That sucks. All right, now here's a map. Gulf of Mexico. Oh, I don't need that. Oh my god, I bet exactly one of these opens. <laughs> and I bet I can look at exactly one of these. <laughs> oh, the Providence dogs. Uh, Oh! $810,024! Wait, I wasn't done. Transfer of title to John Greenberg, oh, curator, Serpentine Gallery. My longtime clients both passed away. Oh, I just heard. Felix was 89. They had lived extraordinary lives. Oh, okay, so she got at an auction. Oh, maybe she killed him. I know from a heat wave that was too real. Description pre Columbian artifact of Mayan origin. <gasps> Taylor Sinclair, purchaser. Oh, wait, did we already know that? I don't know. Should I copy these? Oh, here we go. Timeline. We don't know where it was excavated. Given to Rupert Star Serpentine Gallery, sold to them in Connecticut, and then sold at auction to Beach Hill Museum. Okay, that makes sense. Why couldn't we just ask? Joanna about that. Oh, I did. I took the documents. All right. That's exactly the one drawer that opened. Perfect. Now, what if I were to take a peek at something under this? That looks like mercur mercury. Whatever, whatever. So I can't look in these boxes. I don't care about any of this stuff. Okay, I'm out. Now, what does this key go to? It kind of looks like an exhibits key. Ooh, we love LASIK. Uh, Rach, thank you for the bits again, too! Should be locked away, exactly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It looks like a butcher knife. Oh, it kind of does. Um, but it's one of those circle keys that like opens vending machines. Hi, Tay. Mm. 
Yeah, it's definitely Taylor. I don't know how anyone could not think that Taylor is doing all this. It's definitely Taylor. Hello, Nancy. You have a special delivery for me, I hope? Promise me that you'll take good care of these documents. I don't even care if you take good care of them. I don't know why I even asked you that. Oh. You should hand over the paperwork. <laughs> my internal monologue, which is my external monologue, which is just me talking to myself whenever I have to do something, is good that work, level. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return? A deal's a deal. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C-O-A-T-L. Got it. Don't say this. I should get back to the museum. <laughs> yes, Let's you not should. Patronize Alejandro. Um, okay, I am going to go to my hotel and type in that password, which I think is the password that I needed, but I'm not sure. We have a lot of tailors in the chat. And honestly, all of them guilty. <laughs> no. We love our tailors in the chat. But the tailor in this game? Prison. Was this what I needed it for? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, oh, I don't know. I want to look at the sheet of paper I have, but it won't let me look at the sheet of paper I have. Is there anywhere else that tells me what glyphs are what? I'm clearly missing it. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when your password's wrong. Thank you so much for the bits, coziest ghost. Um... I have a question. If I were going to look... Oh, shit. You know what? It's on all the exhibits again, isn't it? It's just shit on exhibits. It's just shit that's sprinkled throughout other shit, isn't it? Yeah. It's just shit sprinkled throughout. What's that? No. It's locked. I found out what the key goes to. <laughs> I found out what the key goes to. I don't know why I decided to break into this, though. Alright, I guess we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Can I have the hat? No? I didn't need the key again. I found out what the key goes to, though. Oh, Elysee! I hope you're doing okay! Oh my gosh, Yavi! Thank you so much for the bits! Uh, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. I wish I knew how to do stuff. It's locked. Oh my god. Nancy's real time to shine is right now. I get to play with all the artifacts. Why do I want to lug these heavy things around? Sis. Why do I want to lug these heavy things around? It's called stealing it. For the black market, sis. Get it together. It's called making money moves. Okay, dear chat, where do I know how glyphs are words? Oh, wait, wasn't there a statue of a snake outside? Wait, why am I looking for... I'm, I'm not even looking for a snake, sorry. Um, in fact, what I'm doing is something else. Show the notes to Henry. Oh, duh, that's right. What time is it? Great idea. I probably had, would have had that idea as well. <laughs> I forgot about him. 
I thought I killed him. I thought I put that pillow over his head. What? Oh, Taylor Alin again. Taylor Gemini Double. De two strikes, you're out. Thank you so much for the bids. No time to sleep, honey. Oh. What should I post here? Is it not visiting hours? What, isn't it 10 to 4? Oh, is it a.m.? What time is it? I should go home. <laughs> I thought I clicked it. Oh wow, we're really riding the metro today. <laughs> now it's what time? Is it a weekend? Are they closed or something? Yeah, how's he allowed to go to sleep? Did someone drug him? All right. Two can play this game. I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. A mid-morning nap? He's not even working. Well, first of all, sometimes you're, you aren't allowed to sleep after a head injury. Thank you for the bits, Kit Kat Moss. I appreciate that. Sometimes you aren't supposed to go to sleep after a head injury. You should ask your doctor if sleeping is right for you. <laughs> yeah! Shaking him! This is what I was talking about earlier. You need to, they need to be shaking him more. Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. You recognize the riddle then? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. He drew a picture. He drew a picture of like a dog shitting. There's Henrik's password. Oh, it's stone. I found it. A curse upon you who beholds this terror, the evil deeds of the whisper of... Now what the fuck? Within the prison of... Broken only when, when the da da da. Oh, okay. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <sighs> Honey, just rest your mind. Who was this whisperer of silent secrets? The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name, but I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that greatly angered Pakal because of the way it oh, depicted I his read ascent about them. to the throne. Oh, I already read about How this. How did Pakal wish to be depicted? In your From notes. the age of 12, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then, the Whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite a blow to Pakal's image. Honestly, maybe that you are creating a terror if you tell someone they're a king at age 12, you are creating a holy fucking terror. So he put her in a stone prison? Pakal swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Wait, Henrik, a prison of stone? Who dead bodies we're in there? We're talking about the monolith, are we? That's the idea. Do you think the monolith can be opened? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. But this is where my memory fizzles out. If I could only figure out why I took the Bacal. This is important information, Henrik. Don't you think the police should be informed? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Do you have anything against Joanna? Who knows? <laughs> me, when someone asks me if I'm friends with another, another YouTuber. Have you ever been part of a smuggling racket? I don't know. 
Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I can't remember. Can you tell me what the password is to your disk? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. God, you you're useless. Up. I'll be back. Be careful. Do you know what's going to be in the monolith? Chat. If that if someone was buried alive in that monolith, that means they shit in there before they died. There's going to be ancient turds. Ancient turds, mama. Oh, spookiest Courtney. I'm glad you got to be here. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, Rach, a royal terror, that part. Thank you for the bits again. And coziest ghost, piss too, piss and poo. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. A curse upon you to... Oh, we already read this. Oh my god. You are... Oh! Oh my god. These are the things for the shit. This is shit. In fact, these are answers to the quiz that I need to take, aren't they? Alright, let's just say I know where the answers are so I can cheat on the quiz later. New guy, first name, details unknown. <gasps> Who texted me? <laughs> Password, snake! Contact ham- Oh! This is a thing I need! Ham radio station, 2050. Password snake. Oh, in no, oh, in no, and that's Quaddle. I know it's Quaddle. And in fact, I'm gonna call Honduras right now. Just as I suspected. We need to murder Joanna. I need to call my friend Honduras. <laughs> Beef dinner? I'm here for it. Uncanny Alley, thank you so much. With Na no, with Nancy Drew. I don't, honestly, I don't know which would be worse. Thank you so much for the bits. And Baby Olives, thank you for the bits too. Not Coco Crinkle, but it's Poo Poo Tinkle. Now that's a marketing, that's a marketing gig. Thank you so much. Why did I come in here? Oh, I was gonna use the ham radio. Do I need to put the thing in it? The what radio it? tube went out. Well, lucky me, because I just found this tube. Can I read this? No. Oh, I'm one step ahead of the fucking game here. <laughs> no, IDK, my, IDK, my BFF on her Honduras. Thank you so much for the bits, Rick. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. to do with that. And now I don't remember what this like does, but it's locked. My god, Nancy, you just unlocked one of them. 
You used your Spanish one so hard in this game. Thank you so much for the bits, Blueberry Nay. Uh, and B Brock, thank you for the bits too. Speaking directly to the devil on the ham. Calling the devil on the ham. Was it in this? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, and Rach. Not Miles the Magnificent Machine. Just as I had recovered from the trauma. Thank you for the bits. Oh, wait. They said it was 2050 here, too. <laughs> wait, you mean they already told me? Write down... Okay, decoding the numbers. Write down the last three digits and add a zero. So that would be 2710. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Put a zero at the end of the digits. Add all of the digits in the series. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That equals ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I use touch points. Add the number from step one to the number from step two. What? Oh. One, so I think it's 2720. I think the answer is 2720. Can someone tell me if that's right? Example, if the station number is there, then the smuggler station is 1247. So I put a zero at the end of the last three digits. I did 2710. Add all the digits in the series. That equals 10. And then add that 10 back to that number. So that would be 2720. So was that the station? And then send a code. Enter it in Morris code. And then confirm by voice. Order for snake. Enter it in Morris code and they'll confirm by voice. Send the item immediately. Wait a second. Dear chat, where do I find out how to do Morris code? I mean, I would like to just Google it, but is there a place in this game where I'm supposed to learn about Morris code? Is it in the ham radio exhibit? Where in this game is there a Morris code chart? Who's Morris? There's a book on top of that very desk. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so I'll write a D for dot and a D for dash. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'll write a D for a for a dot and a D for dashes. So that's how we'll remember it. O is dash dash dash. A is dot dash. T is oh just one dash someone was feeling spicy and l is dot dash dot dot i like how she always has to turn back in these earlier games to the front of the book in order to continue Do I have to send it one character at a time? What did I do? What stressed you out? <laughs> the Morris code for you into. Oh, 
the Morse code for what are you looking for? All right, so I should have split it up by letter. I remember most of these. C O A T L. Okay, I think I remember them. Okay, we'll start over again. The Morse code for 20 minutes left. Oh! Is that the word for snake or for stone? Hmm. Guess we're about to find out. Save the game soon? Sure. Why didn't that work? It, well, I should have read the manual. Did you put in the thing that I stole? What do you mean? Yeah, the book said something about those arrows. Huh. I really should have looked at that. Let's see what that meant. My math was a little... You think it was the wrong station? Flora Fawn, thank you for the five months. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, Zombie Sarah, thank you for the lurking bits. Good to see you. Sammy Main, thank you for the seven months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Presses, I didn't press any random buttons in any random order. I spelled out a word in Morris code. Morris. For step two, you have to add all five digits. What are digits? For step two, you have to add... Oh, all five digits. I did do that wrong. Okay, so let's do that then. So I got, so I got 2710 and then I add the initial five digits. Oh my God, I need the calculator app. Holy shit. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 20, 21. So that would be 27, 31. Is twenty seven is twenty seven thirty one the right channel that I need to call? Dear chat, is twenty seven thirty one the right channel? Then what was that person yelling at me on that channel for? Brittany May, that's what I want to know. Who's Morris? Thank you so much for the bits. Oh, and Rach, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Killing trolls, you too. Oh, I hope it goes well. Twenty-seven thirty-one. But no one's... Oh, I didn't hit connect. Oh, this is it. Oh, I was confused because someone last time yelled at me too.
I don't know what to do now. And now, I am probably supposed to say something else, correct? Like there were other words that I was supposed to say as well. Um, hold on. Yo, yeah. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Me just leaving the call. Me hanging up on them. Hold on. I'll call y'all right back. <laughs> Ooh, wrong door. <laughs> They want, but I don't even know what I'm supposed to say to them. Password is the enter at the Morse code and they'll confirm by voice. Then send a code word. Payment has been sent. Don't send the item. The coast is not clear. Meet me at the rendezvous point. Send the item immediately. The coast is clear. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to them though. Should I, what do I say? What should I say? Why would I want to say any of these? I would think I would want to say leche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To get a package, maybe? Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Well, let's look up the Morris for that. Uh, what is leche? Milk? This is dumb. <laughs> is this how criminals work? It's exhausting. This is what I just don't have it in me. H. Oh my god. Dot, 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 dot. And then E. Okay, that's just the dot. That's good. to God. Whoever's on the other line to this is testing me. <laughs> is testing me today, mama. She's not in the mood for Morris today. be receiving the package as soon as possible. Um, should I say bye or do I just hang up? I'm just gonna hang up then. Oh my god! Bobby loves turkey even more with the 25 freaking gift subs! Holy shit, thank you so much. I appreciate that. We passed 50% of the sub goal. Thank you so much. Get those skus 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 going in the chat. Thank you, thank you. We love hearing that sound. Uh, and Fairy Godmother, thank you for the beards. Joe gifts. There are some old gifts of me from like my old videos, I'm pretty sure, but um, not like really. 
They're, they may have even been deleted at this point. So I should get the package tomorrow? I know what I'll do. I'll go to sleep. Thank you again so much, Bobby. I appreciate that. I love turkey too! Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I um, get the little deli slices of turkey. And Justin cooked some eggs yesterday. And then afterward, I threw the deli turkey in the same in the skillet, sizzled it up. It was so good. That's my hot tip of the day. My hot tip hot take. <laughs> oh, Katie Marie, thank you for the bids too. I appreciate that. How do you gift sub? Um, that's a good question. I actually don't know. If anyone could help Katie Marie. Because <laughs> that is a great question. I assume it's it's like the same button, right? Ish. All right, let's go back to work and let's confiscate and steal whatever package we get. Oh, right under my face, click gift. Oh, okay. She really needs to learn to put up her own keys because I know I do so much for Nancy, but she's really got to learn to put up her own keys. I love getting mail. <gasps> Tama mail! <laughs> Wait, what does the note say? Oh, be chill music. Oh, no, no, that's the address of the museum, right? <gasps> that's the National Mall, right? The south side of the, the National Mall. Oh, Parker Will, well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll try to do the sub command. Oh. Oh, ah! I will now be exiting the gig. I will now be exiting the gig. Who's she looking at? I have to go. I have to leave. Not keeping an eye out for Selena. <laughs> oh, and Katie Marie, thank you for the gift sub. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, not it's. Oh my God. It's Rachel, Bachel, and Kachel. Thank you so much, Brittany May, for the bits. I appreciate that. Um, who will play her? It won't let me take the box with me. I have to do this here. Is it drugs? Yeah, I can't take it with me. I just leave it. <laughs> she just fucking leaves it there. Oh, dear God. <sighs> Rachel, Bachel, and Kachel. <laughs> no, no, no. Kachel with a C. Because it's it's B and then C. All the all the Rachel, all the Rachel clones are, you know, it doesn't start with A, but it certainly goes there. Rachel, Bachel, Kachel, Dachel, Echel, Fachel, Gachel. Hachel, Jachel, Hachel, Lachel, Machel, Nachel, Oachel, Hachel, Quachel, <laughs> Rachel. Oh, there's already Rachel. Sachel, Tachel, Uachel, 
Vachel, Wachel, Zachel, Xul, Yachel, and Zachel. Just in case y'all didn't know the alphabet. I hope a new viewer tuned in just then. We lost 10 viewers during that. We lost 10 viewers. Someone thought I was having a stroke. They said, I don't want to be held liable for this. <laughs> Uncanny Alley, thank you for the bits too. No, that's the that's the three-headed dog guardian the guard <laughs> guardi guarding the philosopher's stone. Rachel, Rachel, and Kachel, the three-headed dog guarding the Philosopher's Stone. And Blueberry Nathan. <laughs> Not this. Lost the sub goal because of that. Oh, Blueberry Nate, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Did it stop moving? Sometimes I've been having trouble with the goal thing, stopping moving too. Now, you'd think they would all look inward. I think they should all be looking like that way. Uh oh. Oh. Why would someone do this to me on a Tuesday? <laughs> Dear chat, where do I find the answer to this situation? Dear chat, where do I find the solution to this situation? The clinking sound is very loud. No, I want to know where to get the answer. I don't want to game boomers it. There's an exhibit about beauty standards. Oh, okay. Are you, wait, I don't, I have no idea if y'all are being serious. There's an exhibit about what the Maya found beautiful. Ah, uh, realistic beauty standards having three faces. Ah, uh, three faces, unrealistic. Oh, is this it? This is it. So they all need to be crossed? Is that it? Is it crossed? Dear chat, is this the answer? This is the answer. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I thought I did read the plaque. It just had like one sentence and I got bored. <laughs> it just said, it just said one thing and I got bored. I don't know. <laughs> the fuck is that? Is that the thing that got stolen? Did she throw the box away? <laughs> Nancy said, we don't recycle at this museum. Is that, did I just solve the case? I haven't even gotten out of the bottom part of the pyramid yet, I don't think. Oh, dear chat, how, how long is left? How long is left? How much longer is left? How much long is left? And don't say 20 minutes. Should I stick that in here to get the piss? Something's missing here. Oh! There's a... Th I know what's missing there. Maybe another hour? I 
I don't know if I'm close. The thing that goes here. Something's missing. Isn't here. there a, an exhibit I can open up with the round things? Okay. It needs a card. It's locked. Yelling at me at two different volume levels. Oh my god. This is the most winding path. You know what they say, every day is a winding road. I'm a little bit close, but I might need some more hints. Not depending on how long you're lost. You'd agree with an hour? Less than an hour, like 40 minutes? I don't think I want to end it today. I don't think I want to end it today. I think I want to end it next week. I think I want to end it next week. All right, let's save the game. Yeah, next week, maybe, what if we want to end it today? Well, let's just say y'all are in the passenger seat and I'm in the driver's seat and I need some CBD, okay? <laughs> and I need to pull over to take some CBD, okay? <laughs> I'm in the driver's seat, y'all in the passenger seat. And mama needs to pull over and chug some CBD, okay? God, okay. Yeah, next week, maybe we'll do a couple. Maybe we'll do this and start another one. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm starting to um, feel some pain in my shoulders, and I have to do the laundry before my body completely gives out for the day. <laughs> I'm about to go into, I'm about to go in the CBD store. It's 97 degrees outside. I'm going to roll up the windows. I'm going to take the keys with me, and I'm going to, child safety lock y'all in the car okay i'll be right back in five minutes i need to go mama needs to go get her cbd <laughs> i'm gonna roll up the windows i'm taking the keys you're locked in the car it's 97 degrees i, I will crack a window one eighth of an inch okay back in 20 <laughs> okay, that's all for today. Did I just save it? Let's save it again just in case, because y'all know me. I don't pay attention. I'm having fun. The thing that's making this game the most fun is y'all. Is like us doing this together. I have to say. The thing that's making this fun is us playing this together. <laughs> y'all... Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for the big donation subs, gift subs. Wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all really are fucking amazing. And I love doing this every day. Most days. Some days. <laughs> I love doing this. Love y'all so much. Stay hydrated. Stay well. Stay safe. I will see y'all on Thursday. We're going to be doing some fishing. Probably on Friday. So we'll have to figure out what we're doing on Thursday. But it'll be fun. Love y'all so much. Bye. Oh yeah, Simper Ubi Sabubi. <laughs>